Hi, welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing UFC 158 right now. Once again, with returning guests sitting next to me, Nick Kalikas. You recognize him uh, if you're a regular viewer of this show. Professional MMA odds maker, and his website is MMAoddsbreaker.com. And joining us over the phone, we have uh, Miguel Iturate, who's also a, uh, a partner of Nick Kalikas at MMAoddsbreaker.com, longtime uh, MMA analyst. Miguel, thanks for being here with us. Thanks for having me. All right, let's just start right in. Top fight of the night, Nick Diaz, GSP. Some people thought we never would see this fight. Now we're finally getting to see it, and uh, GSP minus 500 as the favorite. Uh, you know, I guess everyone's thinking, you know, GSP is just a level above everyone, including Nick Diaz, but Nick Diaz, you know, great boxer, granite chin, sick, sick jujitsu. Uh, Miguel Iterate, do you think uh, Nick Diaz, Diaz has any kind of chance here? I do because I think... I, I agree with the odds. I mean, St. Pierre is a big favorite, and St. Pierre will probably win the fight. I think that the blueprint for the fight is going to go a lot like Henderson against Nick's brother Nate, which is um, just the athleticism and speed and technique, the combination of things that St. Pierre presents that are superior to Nick, which is basically strength and physicality. And um, I, so I think it goes the same way, but I think you got to give Nick a chance because Nick's the kind of guy who can pull something off that's never been done before, and that's kind of, I think, what he's going to have to do, something weird. So you think that uh, that GSP could be beat then? Yeah, I think, you know, I think GSP has a way. The, the problem with GSP is he doesn't finish fights. And right. Caught up to well, Randy Couture when you look at it. Um, it's a situation where because he doesn't choose to try to finish fights, he doesn't get the fight done, he's got to fight Nick Diaz for 25 minutes. And that's, you know, it's hard to not make a mistake. St. Pierre's been... Uh, you know, mistake free basically and on a huge winning streak and you know, he's an all time great. But at some point fighting 25 minute long fights against high skill guys catches you. And Nick Diaz is a very slick guy. So Nick Diaz definitely uh, has some, some chance. Yeah. All right. Nick Kalikas, what kind of action have you gotten on this? Have you just gotten the public all out? See, I would think that the public would back Nick Diaz at this point. They line. did early on, actually. Really? The line okay. dropped. I opened around 440. The line dropped a little bit closer to 4-1. to one. Now you're seeing it increase a little bit towards 5-1. to one. Um, More parlay action is coming into play here. Um, overall, the sports books are pretty even on this fight mm -hmm. across the board yeah. right now. So there's not a big decision because they're getting you know, where the line is, even action on it. So it was a pretty close estimated spot to put the line. I do think it's a hard spot to bet because you can't lay the juice. Right. Miguel hit the, the nail on the head there, I think with uh, the breakdown of this fight. I mean, it, it's going to be similar to the lightweight battle we just recently um, saw between Ben Henderson and his brother Nate Diaz. I mean, that's the kind of physicality, like Miguel said, that George St. Pierre brings to the table. That's how he wins his fights. He controls the fight, takes it down, avoids any submissions, dominates the ground, and wins a decision. Now, in his return in his last fight against Condit, I think he actually looked a little bit worse, though. I mean, mm -hmm. he got the job done against a very game Carlos Condit, so you got to give him all sorts of respect for that. But at the same time, I, I still think that... Uh, he wasn't quite up to par with uh, George St. Pierre we might have seen in the past. Um, but again, there could have been some ring rust. A lot of people out there, the public hype behind GSP didn't drop any. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's, it's definitely still there. I just can't put a lot of stock in him right now, but he should win this fight by right, control, right. by avoiding, like he said, uh, Nick Diaz's uh, subs. And I, I see him even possibly getting a stoppage. If he does get position, mount, or something like that, George St. Pierre hasn't stopped anybody for a long time. And you know what he's almost due, and he's a little bit motivated <laughs> coming into this fight. Um, he wants to shut Diaz up, of course. And, you know, the other thing that... Um, but he got, always kind of says that, though, doesn't he? He always says, now I'm going to finish it, and he never does, really. Yeah, exactly. I right. mean, it's going to be harder said than done because Diaz is an right. outstanding fighter. I mean, he's tough as nails. Like you said, he's got a granite chin. Um, getting stopped, even on the ground, is going to be far-fetched a little bit. So I know it's, I'm going out on a limb here by saying that there's a possibility that, um, you know, GSP stops Diaz or vice versa. I think that if uh, Diaz wins this fight, pulls off the upset, it probably will be by submission. One other X factor to throw out there, mm -hmm. and it goes both ways uh, in a long fight, is in, especially when there's a little bit of a grudge, is, is the cuts. Because Nick Nick used to cut a lot earlier yeah. in his career. He got a lot of, uh, he got some work done actually, and had some scar tissue removed. Uh, and he's doing a little better, but he could get cut. And same, and Nick's a bony Kenny Florian type body wise. So, and Saint Pierre got roughed up with Condit and showed it on his face too. So. A cut could be a factor that could end it early and very unsatisfyingly for the fans as well. That's a very good point he brings yes, up, too. Go for it. And I think the cuts, especially with Diaz, I mean, mm -hmm. in the past, 
he did get the surgery, but you know, it's still pretty bad. And George St. Perry, that's what I mean as far as like late stoppage as well. I think that he could possibly cut him open. Mm -hmm. And if he does cut him up with some nasty elbows, then, you know, we could see a stoppage that way as well. And um, like Miguel just said about Condon, um, actually busted up George St. Pierre pretty good and, and you know, his facial features yeah. as well. So I think we're starting to see St. Pierre take a little bit more punishment and he's starting to uh, bleed a little bit more as well. So that's a good point Miguel brings up exactly. Mm. That the, the possibility, that's why you gotta be cautious too. I mean, TKO stoppage by cut, nobody really wants to see it, but sure, it does sure, happen. Sure, sure, Yeah, so it sounds like you're hinting that uh, you might want to uh, actually need Diaz in this one. We're probably gonna need Diaz small anyway. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't wanna keep this thing um, either way, like right, a huge right, decision right. for these spots, but I think we're gonna need Diaz small. Um, but like I said, I'm expecting to kind of lose it. If he does pull it off, we'll be a little happy. It's going to be a huge parlay buster for the books. Right, right. Uh, but other than that, it's not going to be a big decision for us. It, although it's going to dr draw a lot of traffic and a lot more action yeah. into uh, this card as a whole than anything else. So, so you great. think it's going to be like a highly bet? The, the volume is going to be high. Yes, the it's going to be yeah, outstanding. Huge. It's going to probably be one of the biggest bet fights of the year at this All point. Right. All right, so uh, Miguel, uh, before we uh, move on to the next fight, if you had to make a bet on this fight, what would it be? Give us a pick right now. Uh, I, I think St. Pierre is going to have his hand raised at the end of the day. Um, if you're lending me the money, I'll lay the juice. All right. All right. I'll make a pick, a very, 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 very weak lean towards Nick Diaz, plus 400. That's my pick on the fight. What do you think of that? You think I'm insane? Well, I mean, it's a, one of those situations where you're going to bet the dog or you're going to pass, kind of, yeah, or right. you're going to bet GSP by decision because, again, that should be the more likely outcome, and you're going to get far less uh, juice with GSP by decision. But, again, the cuts, there's a lot of things to take into consideration. 25 minutes, like we said, is a long time to not get caught, but it should end up playing out like that, GSP by decision. All right, interesting. It's going to be a great fight. We'll see how it turns out. Let's move on to Condit and Hendricks, okay? Sounds good. 